In our gospel today, um, Jesus says um, that we should realize that the, the deeper law, the most important law, is, is really that God desires mercy, not sacrifice. And, you know, I think it's a both and, right? On the one hand, um, fasting is good, um, praying rosaries are good, going to Mass daily is good. Um, all, saying a novena is good. Um, all kinds of things that we can do spiritually. Um, these are good things, um, but in some ways they're fairly easy to do um, compared to showing mercy to someone. Um, and the word mercy is also the same word as forgiveness. Um, there's really two ways to show mercy. Um, one way is to suffer with someone um, the, the word mercy is very rich in meaning. Um, part, of it, part of the word just means compassion, um, to suffer with someone. Um, St. Thomas Aquinas says that the greatest love a human being can show another person is to suffer with them because no one wants to suffer. So to sh freely choose to suffer with someone is a, is a great act of love. And, and this is a form of mercy. Um, another form of mercy is to pity someone. So you see someone who's suffering and you start to pity them. Um, you start to feel sorry for them. Um, you start to feel sorry, you know, for where they are in their life. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard to forgive someone, but if we can pity them, if we can see that actually they're oftentimes trapped in their own sin, they're suffering because of the way they're living their life. And even though the way they're living their life has maybe greatly affected us in a negative way, um, oftentimes this same person is, is really miserable because they're um, far away from God and they're living a life of sin. And if we can step back and see that and have compassion on them, have pity on them, have mercy on them, um, then all of a sudden it becomes a lot easier to forgive them. And I would, I would propose that forgiving someone who's hurt you deeply is really one of the hardest things to do in life. Um, it's very difficult. It's not easy. Oftentimes it is a process. It doesn't always happen quickly. Um, but it's very, very necessary. And Jesus says, you know, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. In another place he says, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. So if you're not merciful, you can't expect God to show you mercy. Um, Jesus says in another place, um, if you don't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. And again, it's the same thing. If you want God to forgive you, then you have to work towards forgiving those who have hurt you. And, you know, again, it's, it's, not, it's not so easy to do this. Um, really, we can't do it on our own strength. We have to ask God for help. Um, we have to have, ask Jesus for help, ask him to give us the strength um, to forgive. And you could ask, again, the question, why, why would Jesus say this kind of thing, that we have to be merciful, we have to forgive? That seems kind of cruel, you know, when someone's really, really hurt me, and now you're telling me I have to forgive them. How do we understand that? Well, I believe part of that is, again, that, that Jesus understands the way um, God has made us. And we're made in such a way that if we don't forgive, then we're going to make a home for anger, for resentment, for bitterness. We're going to stay attached to the very person that we don't want to stay attached to. We're going to stay attached to what they did and to what they said um, because we're refusing to forgive them. And so mercy is, and forgiveness are actually gifts that we give someone. It's an unconditional gift, but we're giving ourselves a gift at the same time because now we can ask God to break that attachment. Now we can ask God to take away um, the hurt inside our hearts, to take away the anger and the resentment and the bitterness and the rage and the confusion and the doubt and the sadness and anything else um, that shouldn't be there. And then we can ask him to fill our hearts um, with his love, with his blessing, with his 
um, mercy with his healing, um, all of which he wants to do. He just wants us um, to cooperate with him. And part of that is taking that step of faith and forgiving the person that's hurt us. And so, brothers and sisters, again, um, the things I'm talking about right now, we really can't do on our own, uh, but we can do them with God's help. And we can do them with the strength that Jesus gives us um, through the Eucharist. And so um, we open up our hearts to that this day. And we pray for that kind of strength, the strength to forgive, the strength to have mercy. Um, and we pray this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.